Hey and welcome, I'm your boy Solo. In this video, I'll be going over how to set up an overlay for your social medias using OBS and stream elements. Before I waste any more time, let's jump into it. Okay, the first thing that we're gonna need to do this is actually some graphics. For this, I suggest uh, Nerd or Die, Owned 3D, Anywhere's the Gala level, Anywhere's where you can get a couple of free banners. I can include the banners here that I have made, but the thing is, is I only have one for TikTok, Twitter, and YouTube. So if you want more than that, you'll have to make more than that. Or like I said, you can go, there's a couple places where you can get banners for free. I suggest Nerd or Die or Own 3D. They do have some free assets, check them out. Once you have those there acquired, next thing we're gonna do is go over to streamelements.com. Once you're logged into Stream Elements, all we're gonna do is go down here to Streaming Tools and click on Overlays. For this example, I'm gonna make a new overlay, but you can add this to any existing overlay that you already have. So I'm just gonna click New Overlay. I'm gonna leave it uh, 1920 by 1080, but you can change this resolution if you have 4K or whatever you desire. I'm just gonna click Start because I know this one works. Once it loads in, after you click OK, just go down here to the plus button and click on it. Uh, there's a static custom right here where it will say asset, rotator, or slideshow. Images or videos as an automatic slideshow. Now you can use, the thing about stream elements is you can use like uh, GIFs or animations. So if you have these here animated, you can use them as you want. So definitely keep that in mind. That is something that's uh, good to know is if you have any animated ones, you can use those here. There's, that's not a limitation that you will have. I'm just going to click on add asset. For this here, I'm going to have to upload each one of them individually. Okay. Once you have them uploaded, what you're going to do is just click on one, click submit, add asset, click on it, submit, click add asset, and the same again, submit. So then it'll add all three assets. Now we definitely want to make this a little bit bigger. Okay, I made mine 1280 by 349. So I'm going to go in the position, size, and style, and make sure that I change it to the size that I had the banners. I find this is going to be a lot easier for adding it because it'll be the same as when you're adding it in OBS. Go back into settings. The first setting here will be delay. Uh, you can set this to anything you want. Uh, it starts at zero, you can leave it at zero, which is absolutely fine. The next one is the iteration pause. Now you wanna make this for how long before you want it to happen again. And this is in seconds, so you'll have to make sure that you put it, like you don't want it to show up every six seconds. So we'll probably wanna set, set this to like a minute a uh, minute to five minutes is what I suggest. So I'm going to put 120, but you can put less for testing. That is something. And each image will show for five seconds, which is fine. That looks like it's fast enough. So that's something else as well. Go down here and definitely check them out and make sure that you modify these to suit what you want. For me, I'm going to put a delay of one, 120 for my pause duration. So it'll do every two minutes. It'll flash this on my stream. It'll show each image for five seconds. Now you can do a randomized playback so that it'll play them in a different order each time. That I find that is actually a cool option that will give you some flexibility. It maybe keep people on their toes where they think they have seen YouTube first the first time and then they seen something else the second time. So keep that in mind. You can pick the random playback and that will be pretty cool as well. And now we can go to the animation settings and there's a lot more options than just fade in or fade out. So you can scroll down through here and pick a whole bunch of different ones. I'm gonna bounce up and maybe bounce down. Like I said in the first one though, the amount of the duration, if you put this here zero, it'll just continuously play, which might be better for when you're editing it. Uh, now that we're going to click the save, we're just going to name it here. This is going to be the social media overlay. We're going to give it a save. There we go. And we're going to take the delay out. Okay, now we're going to put the delay back in. <laughs> there we go. So one delay. I'm going to turn the initial pause off for now, just for testing. So I'm going to click save, and I'm going to copy the URL. Now we're going to just launch up our OBS like we normally do. In OBS, over in the sources, we're just going to click the plus button and click a browser source. We want to make sure that we oh, we name this the same thing, keep it the same. So we're going to name it social media overlay, just so we always know what it is. And we're going to click OK. 
We're gonna paste it in here and we're gonna make this here 1280 by 349. Make sure you make it the same, just just so you don't have any problems. And we're gonna shut down source when not visible and refresh when, when it becomes active again. Then we're gonna click okay and it should add right in here. And there we go. So then from here, we'll just size it down. We'll get it really nice. We'll set it right here. Somewhere's up in the corner. Okay, there you go. Now it's showing up in the corner, popping up, popping down. From here, you can make a couple of edits to it while it's going. You can go over here to the website and you can still edit it as well. And it'll show up real time. When you click save, it'll, it'll show up real time there. So then you can put down in here the 120 so it'll 120 seconds. So every two minutes it'll do this. And then you can go to the animations as well. And if you don't like the bounce up and the bounce out down that that I have. There's many other ones to check out and you can change the duration in seconds. I just left it as one second so that it comes up for one second, only counts for five and heads out. I'm gonna click save like this here, but that's everything there is to it. Just make sure that you click the save when you're done before you close the page. It should be automatically playing over here, now set to the exact time limit that you already have, that you have set. So if you set it to 120, that's two minutes, 240 for four minutes. If you wanna play in every five minutes, just make it for as long as you need. But that's it, there you go. There's your social media overlay. This will play as often as you want it, as frequent as you want it. You can place it anywhere as you want it. I just put it up here in the top corner because I think it looks good there, but down in the bottom corner or somewhere out of the way. I think it looks great. Uh, maybe don't make it the spectacle in the middle of your screen unless you're only going to flash it every 10 minutes or 15 minutes because it might get annoying to people trying to actually watch you play the game. But that's it for this one here. There's your overlay. It should be all set up and going now. Make sure you test it to make sure it works. And if you think I forgot or left something out, definitely leave it in the comments below. And if you like or found the video helpful, hit the thumbs up and get subscribed for more content. Thanks for watching.